don't know if I got the line exactly right, but I was <laughs> referencing the room. I could tell by the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, you look like you're suffering. No. It feeds the suffering. rain. No, just just let Evan do this. <laughs> but you were safe before. Can't Master be safe too? I don't know. But if the Colonel isn't saying anything, then... Dots! <laughs> Isn't there anything I can do? Can't I help him somehow? I... I... Blush. Unsaid to... I love Master! He called me Thing! <laughs> he named me! He saved me once! I wish I could disappear instead of him! Then we wouldn't have anyone to use the Sorcerer's Ring. You don't say things like that. I want all of us to be together. All of us. As long as possible. Except you, Mew. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back to Chigglewood. <laughs> I just wish I had the power to make that happen. But I... I can't do anything. Sad face. <laughs> Sadness! <laughs> you look like you're suffering, Tear. That's good. It feeds the ring. <laughs> <laughs> the ring. It hungers. <laughs> My pressure. <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't the only reason I was kicked out of Jiggle Woods. <laughs> Too many missing. <laughs> <laughs> they were starting to get suspicious. <laughs> I ate real good. <laughs> All right, this is now our official headcanon about Mew. <laughs> why Mew, Mew is, is a psychopath. Why Mew was kicked out of Cheagle Woods. <laughs> he used them to feed the sorcerer's ring. <laughs> Your Grace, an emissary of the New Order of Lorelei has arrived at the castle. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hmm. So, they've come. Luke, I'm going to the castle. I want you to come as well. But I'm hungry. <laughs> but I'm dying. <laughs> Wait, shit, I was keeping that a secret. <laughs> I'm dying, Dad. I wonder if it'll end up with a declaration of war. Yeah. No, it'll be anyway, a declaration of castle. independence. I'm pretty sure he just invited Luke, but... Okay. <laughs> when they say Luke, it means everybody else. Luke and company. <laughs> So, uh, I don't mind. <laughs> People! Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, here we go. <sighs> I notice a distinct lack of Natalia. No, she's uh, sitting to Ingerprit's right. Oh, well, she's not with the party. <laughs> I am here as an emissary of the new order of Lorelei. How will you answer Phone Master Modes? Our kingdom of Kimlaska Land Valdir has agreed to abandon the score. Therefore, we refuse the New Order of Lorelei's proposal. Then I can take that as a declaration of war against the New Order. That is of not Lorelei. what I said. We have no desire to fight. However, know that if our land or people are threatened, we will respond in kind. Do you understand what this means, boy? Scion of Lorelei's power. In erasing the replicas at the Tower of Rem, you brought about a new conflict. Oh god damn it, why do the we always do that? It's a fearful thing. That's sophistry. To begin with, both of my sons are alive. Father. Is it? We both know that a score of extinction is written on the seventh phone stone. We'll build a future where people survive. We won't let you destroy the world. And we'll do the same. It's not the same. You are aiding those who persist in clinging to the score. According to your logic, you're walking the path to destruction. I have pledged my sword to one master alone. Never forget that. Kids these days. <laughs> what if we just stepped on you? <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> just punted him. <laughs> Van is gathering his strength somewhere, isn't he? But where? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Maybe Eldrint? <laughs> Spoilers. I mean, it's kind of a logical conclusion. I apologize for the matter of the miasma. 
but I was struck by the spirit of your resolve in the face of death. Not at all. We can no longer avoid conflict with the new order of Lorelei. Please come to my room later with Natalia. <laughs> I believe now is the time. It's part of his model. <laughs> Help me! It's stuck to my hand. Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm talking to you, but I'm facing the that window over there. It's I think I saw a cat outside. <laughs> I've outlawed cats years ago. <laughs> So that's why all the cats are in Malkuth. <laughs> <laughs> that blue thing better not secretly be a cat. Meow. You know what we cats we, you know what we do with cats no, in Malkuth, son. He doesn't say meow, he says mew. It's totally different. <laughs> You're I have something to tell you about your real parents. He's just a French cat. He's just a French cat. Mew. Mew. Mew, sir. Yes, Sylvia. But I presume you do not know of your father. No. Nanny left the castle before I could ask any more. Your father was a mercenary by the name of Badak. Badak? <laughs> I see. But why tell me this now? Natalia, do you seriously not remember Luke calling Largo Badak? It wasn't no. that long ago. <laughs> We've learned of his whereabouts. He's alive? Yes. Natalia. Be strong and listen. I feel I must tell you about your father because of the situation we now face. What is it? Bodok is now in the new order of Lorelei. It's Moe's. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's correct? There's no doubt. Luke has confirmed it. He currently goes by the name of Largo, the Black Lion. It, it can't be. Natalia. That's not true! That's, That's impossible. impossible! Such your feelings, you know it to be true. No! <laughs> Do what? not want! This is some kind of mistake, right? <laughs> Natalia, it's true. He confirmed it himself. Natalia, where are you going? I'm going to ask him myself. I can still catch him if I hurry. I refuse to accept this. Well, I think that went well. <laughs> she took it pretty well. There's no telling what she'll do. She joins the new order of Lorelei. <laughs> I hope Natalia doesn't go and do anything rash. Even if she does, Largo controls himself pretty well, so things should be okay. Where would Largo be? The port? Yes, I doubt he'd cross the desert. To the port! Let's hurry. Yes, stay calm, Natalia. That was useful. Oh yeah. I right. love the so, skits uh, where it's just Mew and Tear and you have to go back and forth between those two voices. That is fun. <laughs> it's like about as far opposite as it could possibly be. I uh, I love I love reading uh, stories about uh, Dungeons and Dragons that other people have had. Oh, that's and, always a lot of fun. And there's and there's this one I'm reading where it's uh it's a the, these two friends decide to join a campaign and have a joint backstory together, where one is a gnomish necromancer and the other is like a tr uh, a reanimated troll skeleton that serves the necromancer as a servant. <laughs> so they make him a barbarian and they set a rule for themselves that whenever the necromancer uh the necromancer necromancer will be get hit, the skeleton won't go on a rage. Well, on accident the gnome necromancer accidentally hit himself with one of his own spells. <laughs> so then the giant skeleton had to roll f had to had to roll intelligence see, should I kill my master for hurting my master? <laughs> and then I'd have to kill me for killing my master. <laughs> <laughs> he had to roll for existential crisis. <laughs> oh. Um. One of my favorites. I think it's Sir oh, wait, Barrington. Yes. Sir Barrington is fucking great. Oh, so the yeah. guy literally just made a bear with stupidly high deception. Yeah. And only one person ever got it and he was thrown in yeah. jail for being a madman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you want the tree, just look up the story of Sir Barrington. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Sir Barrington, we apologize for the we apologize for his rudeness. Dis dismissive roar. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends are here, princess. Why? 
Why? Why did you join the Six God Generals? What good will it do to know? Answer me! Vodok! My wife, Sylvia, loved to watch the sunset from here. That doesn't answer my question. One day, I had finished escorting a caravan across the desert and was coming home. When I got home, neither Sylvia nor our newborn child were there. I finally knew what people meant when they said they had a bad feeling. The setting sun was shining in through the windows, blood red. I searched all over the city, but I couldn't find Sylvia. What happened to her? Several days later, she was found floating in this harbor. Sylvia was hysterical when her newborn child was taken from her. She killed herself. No. Sylvia's body was weak. But the score said we would have a child. No, that we must have a child. When I learned why, I threw away my life in Batacor. I drifted between countries. Eventually, Commandant Grants found me and took me in. Van said to me, the score is the planet's memory. Every memory until the end of the world. And everything moves according to that memory. The score is merely a small portion of it, translated into human words. So Sylvia's horrible death was predetermined. I hated the score, the planet's memory. That is a horrible story. But the score isn't absolute. Isn't it just one possible choice of futures? But if you always end at the same place, no matter what path you take, then free will means nothing. Nah, the stream of causality. The <laughs> Even without readings of the score, this planet will keep its own memory and follow it. Van's vision of destroying the score is to destroy Lorelei. The planet's memory itself. He will earn the right for all living things to build their own future. I believe in that ideal and have chosen to join him. Remember this your methods are too weak. You might say they're a hack. <laughs> Wait! You're my. Princess Natalia. My beloved daughter is no more. She was taken from me 18 years ago. If what he said is true, then as long as the planet's memory exists, the future we choose will always arrive at a single conclusion. Is that why Van is trying to erase the originals? To entrust the future to a new humanity of replicas beyond the planet's memory? Even if that's true? So Even if that's true, the originals still <laughs> die, right? The Commandant's plan won't save the people of this world. <laughs> What if he just keeps walking and he's like, <laughs> at, you know, walking off the edge of the <laughs> pier now? Like, he just let this cutscene run long down. enough and, like, yeah. he's just <laughs> walking <laughs> above the air on the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Natalia, let's go back to the castle for now. His Majesty is worried about you. Natalia has two dads. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I have two daddies. Natalia, I was so worried about you. Father, I... I knew that was painful for you. But you don't have to suffer anymore. That's not how this works. You need not stand in the front lines against the new order of Lorelei any longer. Father, why? Your journey was as an emissary to arrange <clears throat> a summit on the role of the score. You fulfilled your duty. Why must you fight your own flesh and blood? Precisely because we share that blood. Some things must be overcome. Natalia! No, I don't know. You may be right, Father. Perhaps I should fight. to avoid having existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I have concluded that killing my master is not protecting my master. <laughs> Right yeah, you know, just within a few plot events. <laughs> it will take time for the new Order of Lorelei to prepare for battle. Yeah, right now Ash should be searching for Master Van. 
and we have to stop the planet storm. You can use that time to think things over. <laughs> you can stay here, or you can come with us and think on the way. Whichever you like. I'll go. Let me think there with you. Very well. Be careful, Natalia. Doing parkour. Woo! <laughs> All right, we Lago's will do life. some stuff in the next episode. I think we should do Largo's life because it's pretty relevant. Okay, fine. We'll go up to this balcony and then we'll do it. Ah, Natalie, don't look too good. I'm sorry. I just had a strange thought. What? <laughs> <laughs> that it's my fault that Largo became part of the God Generals. Uh, no. That I changed his life. <laughs> I'm as bad as Luke. You're all. <laughs> Yeah, that's not like you at all. Indeed, it is not. I mean, it's not like you decided to go into the castle as a baby. Thank you for the logic, Anis. Besides, he's the one who decided to enter the new order of Lorelei and destroy the original world with his daughter in it. You had nothing to do with it. It's not all about you, Natalia. <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> he's not a coward. He wouldn't blame other people for what he's done. Anis. He's just like you. He knows what he's done, then he takes responsibility for it. So don't worry. Don't think about good or bad. Just think about you, you want to do what you want to do. At times, you can be quite grown up. <laughs> I'm 46. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? You think just because I'm 48, I'm grown up? <laughs> I mean, You uh, call me old? I mean, uh, yes. I am 13. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time.